Out ready. And away they go. In the Betway victory, Moonstakes. Litigation got out well as right up there in the early stages and so is Atticus Finch. Son of Raj behind that and Billy Bolegs a few lengths off the leader. None others behind that then Aragosta. Crimson King is racing in behind that lot. Star Coin further back east coast. Electric Gold a 10-11 lengths from the leader with two more lengths away to Nebras and Savannah Storms the trailer and they about 13 lengths off the leader. Move their way through the 1,200 metre marker now and Atticus Finch is in front. Atticus Finch is the leader, has it by three parts of a length from Crimson King who's back in the second position. Racing away in third is Litigation and Billy Bolegs, only a half length separating those two. Then at Son of Raj, they five or six lengths off the leader where Fief is behind that. Aragosta's further back in the field, East Coast behind them, then Starcoin Electric Gold, followed further back by Nabu brass they 11 or 12 off the leader and savannah storms the trailer homeward bound now in the betway victory moon and atticus finch is the leader from crimson king behind that litigation is away in third billy bowlegs to the outside is just two lengths off the leader none other they got four or five to go son of raj is further back east coast is seven eight lengths off the leader atticus finch as they come past the 300 billy bowlegs on the outside and litigation they go together. Further back to Electric Gold. Now it's Billy Bolex as they come down into the final 150. Atticus Finch fighting back. Litigation. Son of Raj is coming home up the outside. East Coast is also getting going. Atticus Finch is holding on. Atticus Finch kept going to win the Betway Victory Moon. Electric Gold is there. Billy Bolex also there and so is Litigation. Another great race. We take a look at the head-on now at number nine, Atticus Finch, driven past the 200-metre mark to stay on gamely. Electric Gold is running on in the closing stages. Litigation and Billy Bolegs, they wanted to go together for some time too. And charging as well with Son of Raj, none other on the stand side. But nothing will stop the nine Atticus Finch from securing the Betway Victory Moon Stakes. Well, another excellent race uh, to witness here at Turf Lane today, the running of the Betway Victory Moon Stakes, and it's been won by the heavily backed favourite, number nine, Atticus Finch, the second horse today to reel off four victories in a row. We saw Purple Pitcher win a bit earlier on, and Atticus Finch is uh, on the upward uh, mark here and he goes on to win under Calvin Habit. You must be so pleased that uh, you could ride him again today because you've ridden him before but um, I don't know what the tactics were but certainly with the lightweight you wanted to be right up there. Yeah look I just want to thank Mr. Laird and to all the owners they, they said you know the horse we trust you and we leave it to you so when the gates open I saw no one really wanted to lead and it's not a horse that pulls so he, he went there he pricked his ears and I thought I still went to good pace and kept on building in the straight. He's just got such a big heart, this horse. When, when the challenges come, I know we had the lightweight, but he, he just didn't want to get beat. You know, he kept on fighting for me. He changed legs when I changed my stick, and I thought it was a win for the merit. Uh, good luck to Mr. Led. Thank you so much for working with me. Uh, this was a plan quite a while ago. About six months ago, we, we started plotting this plan, and you know, we, we ticked off another box. We've got one more, but uh, we can breathe. We can enjoy it, and uh, yeah, just listen to everyone, to, to Mr. Basil, uh, Gary. He's uh, been a big part of my life and um, especially my career and I'm just so pleased I could ride him, his first graded winner and uh, you know just to come back and see all the owners in tears, it really brings, uh, you know that's what racing is about and it brings, brings joy to my heart so I'm just pleased for everyone and uh, I, I got, I don't know too many more words. Yeah, absolutely and uh, you know life uh, does those wonderful turns, I mean you went to Singapore and things didn't work out over there, uh, you were man enough to say it's time to go back home, I want to go back home and, and ride back in South Africa and, and look where it's ended up. No 100%, listen God's, he's got the, the script written, we just have to live it and that's what faith is about, you know, um, doing what you believe, doing what your gut goes with and you just have to believe in him that, that you know, you're taking the right direction, work hard, be a good person and, and do what you need to do and 
the rewards will come when, when he's ready for them. Oh, congratulations. Kevin Hunt, who represents uh, the interests of Victory Moon, the great Victory Moon. We'll speak to Kevin in a moment about that, um, presenting Calvin Habib with his winning trophy for the win today. Well, we get to Alec Laird in very quickly. I know, Alec, uh, you know, these wins are always very, very special. As we mentioned, the previous win, um, he's just going about it the right way. Congratulations to you. He looked at a million dollars in the ring. Brandon and I said, wow, that horse looks a million dollars. He just looked the part. He's pretty now, yeah. He gets better looking every time he wins. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm sure about that. And you were pretty confident coming into the race. His main mission comes up at the end of the month, um, but but it, it, he just had to take another step up, and he's done that with a plum today because he those horses challenged him and he kicked again. Very exciting to watch. Um, it, this obviously this is, you, you know, he, he, to win a race like this is, is is pretty good. You know, never mind the the summer cup. That's a that's everybody's trying to win this. But I'm very pleased to have won this race again. And for the guys, he's, um, this has come through nicely. Um, what more can I say? Well, congratulations. We wish you all the best with him and his career. And uh, Kevin Hunter, as you know, Kevin Hunter really well is here to present you with your prize. Uh, Alec, um, it, it's, it's a very special moment. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Right, let's get uh, the winning owners in. And uh, if we can, Gary's going to hobble in again. Uh, Gary, what a day for Gary Basil. Lance Clark's going to come in as well. Okay, yeah. Let uh, one final, uh, one final. But it would have been not to say thanks very much to Betway. I mean, when Atticus walked off with that blanket, he looked really nice in it. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> thanks very much. Well, Gary, um, here you are again. Um, what a magnificent win for this horse! And every time he comes to the track, he gets a bigger and bigger support base. Nico, it's very humbling to talk about a horse like Atticus. To have partners like we've got, Big Guy, Phil, Lance, Hilton, and the wily old fox, Alec Led. <clears throat> how, how well has he done with this horse? He, he said he needed the rest, he needed time off. He's brought him back four in a row. Um, he's just made life for us, racehorse owners, and that's why he gets the support from us. Alec Led, you get the horses, you do the performance. I, I see that, and, uh, and that's why we're there with him. And, and it's been a magnificent day. And to um, Big Guy and Phil, I hope you enjoy this with us. It's, it's amazing. But Calvin Abbott, yeah. we said even if he rode this Aquila over today, he had to ride it. He knows this horse so well. He knows how to ride him and he knows just when to change that stick and when he put that stick in the left hand he just he just performed it was it was amazing and then i think it's our first grade one uh, grade three together and hopefully it doesn't stop you well it was magnificent and you'll always remember the birth of your your grandson uh w w without, without a doubt uh, there, there's, there's so much to celebrate for uh, I, 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 i'm very humbled and i'm just pleased i can enjoy it with people like we race with it and with guys like you to the sponsors vetway and to the guys that do the hard work at home, Moffat and his team, what a fantastic achievement, guys. This is Moffat's favorite. And um, yeah, I think the celebrations will go hard tonight. I think you were trying to match Atticus Finch today by coming on four legs. But anyway, we'll keep you out the picture for the moment. Let's speak to Lon. Congratulations to you guys. Told us the story of how you got this horse. You yeah. were, were going to visit another horse. This horse came about. And marvelous. My daughter. Marvelous. Yeah, absolutely, Nika. It's absolutely fantastic. What is the feeling like? There's no your dad like next this year, no it's feeling like this. Oh, it's oh, like quite it's beautiful. beautiful. It's fantastic. I mean, you, sorry, sir, you must be, you must have been around the race for many years. This must be one of your proudest moments. Yes. <laughs> must be one of your proudest moments oh, ever. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely. I, I haven't really lived the, it's coming. <laughs> It's all coming. It's all coming, but it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I'm going to let, I'm going to let uh, Kevin Hunter from the Victory Moon Syndicate um, shake your hands over there. Very quickly, um, congratulations to all of you, all the winning connections of Atticus Finch. Uh, and there's uh, more and more trophies coming about. Congratulations. Well done to the team behind Atticus Finch. Well done to Alec Laird. Had him in sparkling condition. I mean, even if you didn't feel like backing him, once you saw him going on to the start, you had to back him. You were absolutely forced to back him today. Kevin Hunter, just come across a second, uh, please, when we're done with the um, connections over here. By the way, these are your guests in your private box today. Uh, yeah, we got quite a few, and I was glad to have given the prize to Gary. And um, yeah, I think, as Alex said, we have to thank Betway. 
for, for, for the sponsorship. Um, without them, racing is going to go backwards. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. And, yeah, I'm very glad for Gary, and hopefully he can win the Summer Cup. Well, let's hope so. You've been there before with Victory Moon. Just quickly tell us about your exploits with Victory Moon. I mean, it's well documented. He was one of the first horses to go overseas, but those trips to Dubai must have just been out of this world. Nico, it's actually crazy. It's 22 years ago. Uh, 2001, we traveled to Dubai. We won the... Won quite a few. I'm just trying to think. Of it. But no, it was fantastic. You won the UAE Derby. UAE Derby. won yeah. the Derby in 2001. And third in the World Cup. Uh, had a tremendous time with Mike. And yeah, it was fantastic. And just to have been part of it is something else. And that's what uh, Gary and them are now. That's what they're going through. They're going yeah, through so that experience. Through. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, all the best. And we hope that uh, the Victory Moon stays in everyone's thoughts and hearts because uh, this is a special race on the calendar. Yeah, thank you very much, and thanks for racing, for keeping up. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. And quickly, a bet way are going to come in. I know there's a race running in Cape Town, but uh, very quickly, um, you must be well pleased with the way that race turned out because it's a precursor to the big one at the end of the month. But uh, all the major players were there or thereabouts there. Yeah, 100%, Nika. I mean, this is it. It's the, the final run-in uh, as we look forward to the barrier draw on the 15th. Um, I think it's going to be a great summer cup. I think there's a couple of upcoming ho up and coming horses. Um, we're going to do our best to make a fantastic day of it um, and make it the party of Joburg uh, on the 25th of November. Lots of activity, lots of excitement and, and lots of music as well on the day. There is going to be, and I think for Betway as a brand, uh, we're hoping that uh, obviously the pro tiers can do something for us associated to both the Springboks and um, the Pro Tiers and then the Betway Summer Cup, obviously, to end that off. Um, great for us as a business. We're proud to be here. We're proud to be a part of Four Racing. We're proud to contribute to Four Racing, both in, obviously, the Haarfeld and Fairview, and play our part um, in trying to sustain this game. Uh, there's a lot of punters that love it. There's people that have been in the game for a long, long time, and we just want to do our best. Thanks again on behalf of Horse Racing here, uh, certainly on the high felt for keeping it going. Thanks, Nico. Thanks Thank you. Much. Thanks very much. Jonathan Bloomberg representing the sponsors of the day and of the big one at the end of the month, Betway. And that is it for the presentation of the Betway Victory Moon Stakes. One more presentation, Moffat. We can't go without saying how's it to Moffat. Moffat, well done. This is your horse. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, this is why I would like to say thanks for Mr. Spavano getting the sign the corner of the horse. He's doing a good job. Uh, he's doing everything right to the horse, and I would like to say thanks to the State Farm. They did a great, great, great job. Absolutely. Well done. It, it, it's a ma magnificent horse. We're going to present you with your uh, winning check of 1500 and a winning trophy, too. This is a big horse for the Laird Stable, and uh, may everything go sweetly before the end of the month. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a result of the good work. <laughs> very good. Well done. Atticus Finch pulls it off, gets the big one today, and there's just one more hurdle for him to climb and to get over.